Had a bite. Oh, a little bit of a green with the same green body? Yeah. The green head? Yep. Okay. Interesting because it was a bright green bead almost identical to that. Uh, even when I came here last time, it was getting crushed. That guy over there is just swaying. It's not even worth getting on the reel. I just wanted to hear the fun reel. That's what I get for being selfish. <laughs> Trying to get him on the reel, he just pops off. Darn it. Ah, bugger. Fish rolled out there. Another chronomid chaser. I wish this lake was like dry fly friendly, that would be epic, but it's not. Ryan has jumped onto the rock, switched to an indicator rig, spinner wasn't producing. Guys, this video is going to be more laid back, just listening to the sounds of nature, maybe catch a couple fish. Missed a bite. Oh, that was a good bite, dude. I'm just so bad at fishing. Gotta get one in the net. That's a bigger, I think that's a bigger fish. Hey, this might be one that's slightly older pretty good size. It's actually a pretty, pretty healthy fish. I was like, because normally they don't give you a, a good amount in your hand, but that fish is not bad. Yeah. Got ourselves not a bad fish here. Show you guys. So what we're going to do is change our fly out after this fish. Okay, we caught one on that fly, which Ryan modified for me and gave me a new one to avoid short strikes. I have a previous video, put it up here or something, um, where I went to Rice Lake and figured out that if you have a longer tail, you get a bunch of short strikes and uh, the fish don't commit. So I'll change this out, I'll show you the new fly. Okay, Bunny Royale, pretty serious downsize. It's like a size 16 or 14 hook, smaller green bead. 
Last time I was here, this is what worked when they were short striking on a leech. And uh, I just want some more data. Let's see if Bob's Bunny Royale can perform. Trying to get more data, repeat success with this fly. I think because it's smaller, they can really commit to it. And it still has that hot spot they're looking for. Catch one fish with this, net it. I know exactly what fly I'm putting on next. So hopefully you guys get to see it. Hopefully we catch a fish and you get to see that next fly. Just missed a bite. That's pretty quick. That's a good sign. Okay, I just went back to about two and a half, three feet depth. Throw this for five minutes. If we don't get any bites, then we're switching up the fly. And like I said, I know what I'm going to put on next. It's going to be a, I think it's called a blowtorch. And it's trout candy, and that's tied by Eric Leslie. He's got a shop called Driftstone in the States, and uh, he ships to Canada. So go check out his store. If you're in the market for beads, he's got his own beads that are really awesome beads. He even has a, a YouTube video on them. And uh, he's got fly tying materials, flies, etc. You can just go check them out. Driftstone fly fishing. Link is in the description. Hi, little guys. Okay, this has a copper bead, uh, red, ready orange hot spot, ready orange tail, green body, size 14 hook, I think. It's weighted. It's kind of like a Euro nymph, but um, that's what Eric sent it to me for. But I'm going to use it for stock trout. Oops. So we're still about two and a half feet down. I'll probably move down to four feet after a couple of casts. But um, Ryan also had something with a green bead on, and as soon as he switched up to the rosinator, or the rice lake rosinator, or whatever you want to call it, um, it's that like black and blue body with a bright pink bead head, uh, which always seems to do really well in the mornings here, um, he got a bite right away. So. That's interesting because he was here a couple nights ago, the day that they stocked this lake again, coincidentally, and he absolutely slayed it. He was in the double digits. I think he said he caught 50 fish. And he was using, for the most part, a bright green beaded fly. So, given that last time I was here, I used a bright green fly at night and hooked up immediately that Bunny Royale I just had on. Um, I'm wondering if green is more of a nighttime color at Rice Lake. So, some anecdotal information for you guys. I encourage you to go and test out that theory on your own. Okay, I'm closer to four feet now. It's kind of a little more what tends to work here. I just hit myself in the hat. Eric, we had a bite. Come on, let's get that back. Let's get that fish in the net. I can go home with two fish in the net. That'd make me happy. 
fish in the area. I'm just breached over there. Let's get our... Oh no, you lost it? I'm sorry, dude. I just had a bite. They let go. But they're in the zone right now. That, that felt like a nice fish again. Oh, that was a nice fish. I could see the flash in the water. It felt like a really, really nice fish. But hey, small barbless hooks. Doesn't get in the right spot in the mouth. It's coming out. Just started drizzling. I knew there was a little rain in the forecast, but I was hoping it would kind of stay away. And that's okay. Oh, I just missed a bite. That was crazy. It bit like three times and I wasn't ready. So, even though I'm not wearing a rain jacket, I have my drone in my backpack, which is not coming out today, but that's inside a, a big Ziploc bag. I have all my fishing stuff inside a Ziploc bag. I have my keys. I just missed a bite, damn it. I have my keys, wallet, my important stuff, doubly ziplocked inside my backpack. Did I just miss another bite? I'm gonna fish this fly again for sure. Cause um, the fish actually seem to be pretty into it. lost a fish. I lost a fish. I wasn't fully dead focused on my indicator and it was down for like three seconds. I was just, I was sitting here thinking about the depth <laughs> and if I should change it, but I guess not. There are a bunch of like the tiniest midges I've ever seen coming off. They're like a millimeter and a half long in like the fluffiest dimension. Oh, is that a bite? Yeah, those are all bites. Oh my God, they were the skinniest of little bites. Oh my God, I can't, <laughs> oh, I'm such, I'm so bad. The barb was moving like a millimeter and I could just barely see it and I doubted myself and then it plunged and then the fish was gone. Which is crazy because I feel like I've seen a whole bunch of these little nibble bites this morning and I haven't been setting on them. Do it, little fish. It's fighting. It's fighting.
These are some of the chunkiest fish I've seen at Rice Lake. That's the first trout I've ever caught um, on a lake using that blowtorch fly, which is a very, very buggy trout candy fly. I'm not, not entirely surprised I put it on because I thought it would work and we got a bunch of bites and finally got one to the net. Um, another good sized stocked rainbow trout. Um, I suspect it's not from the most recent stocking, but a slightly older fish. So, you know, it's good that we're, we're tricking the older, smarter fish. If you guys stayed till the end of the video, then obviously you just want to support me. So hit that thumbs up for me. Thank you very much. And if you want to see more of my videos and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I like posting fly fishing videos. And it's fun when you guys watch them and comment on them. So, so are you still fishing the black and blue at the end? Yeah. yeah. It works. Just as you were like, oh, I was offering to give you up my fly, I got going down, hooked that one up for a second. This is, uh, this is a little thing I was just using. Yeah, just that little bit of flash in that hot spot right here. Yeah. And I figure the copper probably does pretty well during the day. Yeah. A little bit of flash. Yep. A little bit of natural. Yeah, the green was definitely not happening during the day. No. I mentioned that on my video as like a, I don't know, something people can test. You know, I have a couple stories anecdotally of green doing well at night. Mm -hmm. So, it's interesting if that pans out. Yeah, that was, that was the fly that was killing at like 7.30, 8pm. Yeah. That's right around the time that I was doing well as well. <laughs>